Supernatural, supernatural is always natural. It is always a pleasure to be allowed by you to come and bring the gospel of Jesus Christ into your house. I would like to thank those who have partnered with us and helped us to be on air. You, partners, you have made us to be available on these stations and other stations and other radio stations. We're also on radio, uh, radio stations and television and all other networks. Thank you very much for your love and your support. They help us to do amazing things because our God is a great God who does wonders. Today, we are going to look at the sermon. I preached at Mount Zion Carnation. You know, I always preach at Mount Zion Carnation. Wonderful and glorious and beautiful sermons. The sermons, that I, the something that I'm talking about today is called Pride. You know what pride is? I used to say, or I still say, between pride and confidence, there is a thin line. Today I'm going to highlight, I'm going to show you, I'm going to analyze, I'm going to reveal, I'm going to expose, I'm going to illuminate, I'm going to, what else will I say? Because that's what I'm going to do. In preaching this sermon, I've analyzed that this pride comes in. It's something that overthrown the devil himself and make him to be the devil. He changed his name. He was Lucifer. The beautiful cherubim from God. It was created by God and it was beautiful. He was beautiful. When I say he was beautiful, we is Kirupi El Sibigelai, the cover and cherubim. That's what he was. In the beginning but because of pride if the Bible says iniquity was found in his not not evilness but iniquity was found within him let me tell you it's a killer pride is a killer pride is a destroyer pride is arrogant it's something that you don't need in your life but today you are going to learn how pride we can see how pride works, how pride is revealed. Do you know a, also a poor person can be full of pride? Do you know that a humble person can be full of pride? <laughs> Just watch this. I'm going to give you in three parts. You are going to learn from this. Please order this sermon. You will be held. I, I was full of pride, in the, even myself, but the Lord helped me. Let's watch the sermon. I know you're going to be blessed. Let's go to it. You see, it's very difficult to see a pride in your life. 
It is something that you cannot see easily. You need the Holy Spirit to be able to see your pride. So that he can help you. It is very difficult. You can't see it. Nobody can show you. Except the Holy Spirit. Pride is something that destroyed Lucifer. It goes and entangles itself like an octopus around your will. You enjoy it. Because there is a thin line between pride and confidence. You don't know a confidence, you don't know a pride. Because they are neighbors that are back to back. Only the Holy Spirit can show you. You are full of yourself. Repent. I've seen so many people they get delayed by in answers for their prayer because they are full of themselves. What is the pride? Pride is like cancer. Like cancer that eats you from the beginning. When it has devoured you, it will finish up with them. Internal, it will show up external. Let me reveal the pride that we tend not to pay attention to. You see the pride? There is a pride that is in faith. Yes. Do you know it? That does not want to receive help. When a person wants to help him, you, and you will say thank you, when a person tries to give you something, you will say no, yet you are needing it. Don't you know that that is a pride? Let me ascend and come to where you are. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm joking. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Did you hear what I'm saying? When a person tries to help you, but you will resist the help, help, yet you are in need of help. Let me tell you, you are proud. Why do you resist the help, yet you are in need of help? That means you have pride. You are hungry. And a person wants to give you food, but you say thank you. That is pride. You are naked and people want to give you food. And you will say thank you. You are proud. You are puffed up. God wants to use even the person that you are down upon as you are down there. People have blocked themselves to, be un to receive answers from God because of pride. Let me tell you, my brother, you will learn how I know the pride. I've learned about pride. There are things that you won't receive quickly because of pride. 
Kate wanikezwa zona. You have been given this thing long time ago. Kodwa ngekusheshwa ithole. But you won't receive it. Ngenxa yempakama. Because of the pride. Impakama ibamba mehlo. The pride blinds your eyes. It take hold of your ears. The pride kills even the armpit. You become, you have boils in your armpit. I want to show you how dangerous the pride is more than you can think. I have seen poor people who are poor. Yet they are proud of their poverty. And the, the pride takes control of those who are poor, mostly. <laughs> I am telling you. Do not think that the pride takes control of the people. If you find those who have everything, you will not find the pride. When you are born, you will realize that the pride is just 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 that there are places to be because you have no choice because you afford <laughs> what you have in your pocket. <laughs> then you will think that they are proud. Have you ever seen when you in a person a person a they will say I have a person who is 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 a a in where you are able to, to even see the road while you are inside. A person will pay you a visit. I'm speaking about the pride of a poor person. A person will visit you. You will give them a bread. And a bread will go to you. And you will give them a drink. They will say thank you. That is pride. How are you going to help me? If you fail. While I am giving you my last meal, but you say you need to help. If you want to help, study eating while I am eating. So that I will see that you are in the level that I am in. When I cannot look for a place to stay when I came to the place, I have to stay in the place of 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 I'm trying to show you how the pride creeps in. When you are when you go to other houses, 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 go to the places where they will give you food after prayer. What do you call it? Can you see how proud you are? I'm still I'm dealing with a pride of a poor person. Um, a poor person. Saving the cell phone. They would want to buy cell phones and I afford. that they do not afford because they want to show off. Yes. That they have beautiful things. Yes, of debt. They sleep without food at home. Yeah, what people 
People are sinking in jets. Yes, in Do you know why? Mm-hmm. It is the pride. You drive the car and you can afford it. You are sinking in jets. How so was no perfumul? How was no kipo we show? How was no nigel? How was no pana? You can't even get us because we are sinking. Kuilizi. <laughs> You are drowning. Hi, Malin. Not in money, Equality. but in debts. We school is equality. You are the patient of debts. You leave for other people. When they leave for other people. They don't leave for themselves. The pride eats you in such a way. You cannot live in your means. But you are looking for what you don't have. Am I speaking to someone? When you have pride, you can't be satisfied with what you have. But you are looking for what you have. You want to live to the level where you have not yet. Let alone when you are in power. When you are in power. You ride over people. So that your life will be pleasant. You are stepping over people. You make people to pray. So that they will be pleasant. Because you are in authority. How is it? Just hear the pride. It as cork. It say the Lord must see pride and pride. If we are in need of license, a driver's license, can you hear the pride? It's a pride. It says, when I look for the employee, in other words, I am borrowing money to pay who will put me into the house when I'm in the house to my first payment. I need to pay my debts. Who will put me into the house when I'm in the house? The pride has ruined this place. We think as if the pride is in us. Why can't you buy the phone that you afford? We funnel and the phone. Why you want the phone that is, expensive. that is expensive because there is no email that you are answering. You only need WhatsApp. People are very proud in a township. Let me explain what does the pride do to a poor person. Do you know what it does? It makes the person to live for the cheap. And say, because I don't afford to live where you are, I will offer my body so that you will give me what I want. I'm not going to give you my body. I don't care what I want. I will offer my body so that you will give me what I want. I will offer my body so that you will give me what I want. More especially the millenniums. Now what's the millennials? Lenza lo le ezalo nje. Gama late eighties, nineties, and two thousands. Those who were born in the nineties and two thousands. Ingala na lo nomenge zui nige zimali. Ina ingala nomenga na ene mali. Ila ina nda ba yenza lo kek filu guenza jenga le soskate guenza. Anything that they feel to do as long as they get money. Angi tig na ma place na msha. Today they are blessers. I'm a blessed. I'm a blessed. They are blessed. blessed. They bless you. Because we bless and we fail. Ah, we want to get blessed. Man, we go contest with it all. A person does not bless you. When they are blessed, they need to be called by the prayers. Ah, we need to be called by the prayers. They need to be called by the prayers. 
They are not supposed to be called blessers, but they needed to be called the payers as they is. They need to be called the payers. Hello. The one I'm speaking to. If they are not in this room, <laughs> do you hear me? That is pride. Pride. It is. No more sweet bonny solution. Go to sing yang is in Meshele. Even if you see the solution, yang in Tambe, Luzong Joyla Gab. I will not bend. Where is in Pahaminjan? Can you see how the pride is? Pride. What is the pride? It is a beast without face. It is mighty. Tiny beast. Pride. Pride. I sang figure. Can I give you a ride? No, I have come. Lianet is Zulu. Yes, she is. No, Never mind. I've reached my destiny. You are proud. I haven't finished yet my sermon. I want to show you that you may blame that God. He does not respond to answer your prayers. It is you who are dwelling with the peacock. You need to chop the head of this peacock today. Isn't it also a zico good? When you open the lid, your things are not a fire. You've been answered. When you go to cook, bam, bale the peacock on a candle. What you need to do is to hold the head of this peacock and chop off the head. Can you imagine how much it is going to be? There is a pride that you tend not to pay attention to. Yes, I'm talking about the yogzaz. The pride to know yourself. Le 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 ete. Yabano munto mang kono munto otobege ngalenzela. There is a person who knows that he is humble. In his humbleness, <laughs> he becomes puffed up. <laughs> Do you know um, such um, thing? A person is humble. Up until he knows that he is humble. He even say there's no one who is humble like him. In his humbleness, he is puffed up. Do you know you see how dangerous they are? They may say you are a man. They can even name you as a man. But in your mind, they will say no one is a man. You can even know that no one is a man. In your humbleness, you are a man. In your humbleness, you are a man. In your humbleness, you are a man. You will have pride. You are a man. Have you ever seen a person who is proud of But there is no place where it, it, creep creep in. In. it creep in even in humbleness. That's why the Bible says, he who oh, humbles himself will be lifted oh, up. But he who puffed up... Wow. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Pride. 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 It's like there is a mirror before me. It shows me the parts that I don't know about me. Let <laughs> me. Am I like that? If you are like that, my friend, please turn around, repent. Pride can cost you a lot. It can cost you your entire life. It can cost you your ministry. Can cost you your business, can cost you your name, your reputation, it can cost you your position. That is why I'm talking about. It's a dangerous thing. It's a killer. It's a killer. When I say it's a killer, it's a killer. It's a monster that grows within you. You enjoy sometimes. 
its presence. But at the end of the day, it will kill you. Kill you. Kill you and destroy you. It's a thief. Thief that come to steal. Kill and to destroy you. That's the only thing. If you want the Lord to help you from this fight, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm full of pride. I'm coming back to you. Like the prodigal son, I'm coming back to you. Forgive me all of my sins. Help me, deliver me in Jesus' name. Amen. By saying that prayer, my friend, you are delivered from that pride. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirits of pride. Some, they don't want to give their life unto you, Jesus, because they are full of pride. They think of what people would say. Father God, I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, I speak life, I speak healing, I speak deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, please order this sermon. It will help you. It will change you. It will make you see that pride is a killer. This is part one. Part two is coming. I'm telling you, your life will never be the same again. God is good. Why can't you repent? You know that you have fallen. When I 